Five or so months ago, I tried to build a ballistics calculator. I failed. Yesterday, I succeeded. I am also a little bit salty that I wasn't the one to actually do most of the work. A YouTuber called Raid Captain tried to make a ballistics calculator in Besiege and succeeded. I think where my attempt went wrong those five or so months ago was that I tried to make it more general. I tried to make not only a ballistics calculator, but I tried to make a general purpose calculator that can, that can also solve ballistics equations, which was frankly a completely different and completely impractical goal to achieve. Speaking of the ballistics calculator itself, the ballistics calculator is also not exactly the best. Um, because I had to measure the velocity by hand, and I had to measure the drop and like the force of gravity by hand using a couple of different things, the values aren't exactly the most accurate. What this ended up resulting in is a couple of small issues here and there, which made it consistently undershoot the target by like, 10%, 5%, something like that. I could probably go back, retune it, retune the system and fix it, but meh, don't really want to. Frankly, it's just pointless in the first place. Because I still have to manually line up the range marker with the system. And at that point, I might as well just have manually cited the ballistics calculator. The only reason it's even somewhat of a good idea in Besiege is because it's possible using mods to make the distance the distance sensors in Besiege output an analog output. What this does is allows you to automatically account for drop. But in my case, I would still have to end up figuring out the distance from me to the target, and I'd still have to manually wait to input that. So in the end, I'm just not going to deal with it. I'll upload my latest one on the workshop. If you want, feel free to take it apart and mess, or mess around with it. Honestly, and Raid Captain explained it much better than me, so I'll be linking his video in the, in the description. Highly recommend you go watch it. That's it for this upload. Not much else to say. It's really not that useful in the first place. Oh, uh, well, sorry, no, never mind. There's one last thing. Uh, it turns out that every single cannon is has an up direction, and it goes upwards 2.5 degrees. This includes tank cannons, which are radially symmetrical, so it's impossible to visually tell which side is the quote-unquote up side, which means I at first had a pretty big problem of it constantly overshooting by 2.5 degrees, Anyway, that's why the cannons have the orange side. That's to designate the top side so I don't get them confused and to just direct them and make sure that it's reasonable. And that's it. Goodbye.